Hi everyone, welcome back to Jolabs Farms. Hope you're all doing well and staying safe and also taking care of yourselves. I am also doing well too. So guys, I know it's been a while since I came to you guys with a new video. But before I start, if you are new to my channel and today is your first time ever joining me, please subscribe to receive notifications of when I upload new videos into my channel. And to all those of you who have already subscribed to my channel, I just want to say I appreciate you all and I am most grateful. So guys, in today's video, I am here to let you guys know that we have lost 50 of our beds in room 3 of our structure to the Newcastle disease. Yes guys, we have lost 50 of our chickens to the Newcastle disease. This happened last week Friday. Today is exactly a week since it happened. So guys, last week Friday, our farm manager went after doing his rounds around 8 p.m into this structure that's the structure that you guys are seeing now this room yes these beds are the ones in room three of our structure and these are the beds that we've lost 50 of them to the newcastle disease so according to our farm manager he went into the farm to the structure in this structure which is room three to check on the base and when he went in there he noticed that three of them were dead and that was on friday around 9 p.m he noticed that three of the chickens were dead so he became very very alarmed and throughout the night he kept going in and out to check on the base so around 5 a.m he went back in to check on the base and guys yes guys listen to this when he got into this structure to set to um to check on the chickens he found another set of 30 beds dead yes guys an extra 30 of our chickens were dead so now the total of the dead chickens has become 33 so around eight o'clock in the morning he decided to call the vet officer and luckily for us when he spoke to the vet officer he was in the area so the vet officer quickly rushed to the farm to check on the chickens and when the vet officer came together with our farm manager they went into the structure and also found another set of dead bears together with the previous ones making a total of 50 dead bears in total so the vet officer immediately diagnosed the dead chickens with the new castle disease guys yes he saw straight away that the birds were infected with the new castle disease so he prescribed some medications for a farm manager to go and quickly buy for the chickens in order to avoid the other um, chickens catching the Newcastle disease. So our farm manager called us and told us um, that we have lost 50 of our chickens. Guys, you can imagine how disturbed, anxious and disappointed we were because we had no knowledge of what was happening until around 10 a.m. That's when our farm manager called us. But one thing I like about farm manager is that, guys, he uses his own initiative when it comes to this kind of things. Because I'm sure if he was another, someone, they would have called us and said, oh, um, we've lost some of the bears. What do you, what do you want me to do? But in, in the case of our farm manager, he did not call us to ask us what he should do. Before he called us, he had already called the vet officer who was already in the farm and with that we really appreciated that when it comes to this and we're happy that at least he had used his own initiative in calling the vet officer before speaking to us so the vet officer prescribed some medication for him to go and get quickly 
and he went and got a medication and together with our farm manager and the vet officer they mixed some of this medication into the water of the beds yes guys and he also recommended that our farm manager also mix some of the medication into the water of the beds in room one and also those in room two because guys as i'm sure most of you poultry farmers are aware when it comes to newcastle disease it is very very infectious it spreads so quickly to other chickens and if it is not treated or taken care of as soon as possible it is going to be deadly newcastle disease can kill all your thousand bears within a twinkle of an eye guys yes so they quickly missed the medications that our farm manager had gone to get into the water of the beds in this video that you are seeing and also in those of um, room one of our structure and also in room two of our structure so guys we asked our farm manager to send us a video of all the dead 50 chickens and guys you can't believe this when we got the video we were so 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 disturbed we were so disappointed i wouldn't say angry no i wouldn't say angry but we were disappointed because that was the last thing that we ever expected to hear we were not expecting to wake up on saturday morning only to be told that 50 of our beds were dead and also newcastle disease has also hit our farm that is not something that we expected but we are very thankful to the fact that the vet officer was in the farm to make sure that at least something was being done to prevent the, um, our remaining chickens from also dying and also catching the new castle disease so guys i wanted to come and share this news with you guys that it's been since friday last week today is exactly a week since friday last week we have been calling our farm manager uh, in the morning afternoon and evening and the first thing we asked him when we call is have you had any more casualties and so far guys since friday last week till today till today guys we have not had any more casualties so it looks like the medication that was prescribed by the vet officer is working very well and as you can see in the video the best in room three so far they are all doing well they are active they are moving very well and the fact that we've not had any more casualties is something that is music to our ears guys <laughs> we are very happy that we've not had any more casualties and we pray and hope that as we go along we will not also have any more news of our chickens dying because you guys know how much we poultry farmers invest when it comes to taking care of our birds especially with their feed so we don't want to hear news of dead or um, dead birds or casualties when it comes to our poultry business so going forward we will make sure that we do not have any more of such news although we cannot prevent it but we'll do what it takes to minimize it so guys I just want to say thank you so much to all of you for always always staying with me watching my videos and to all those of you who drop your um, comments and questions down below for me to get back to you i really appreciate you all you've been amazing and i'm grateful that you guys are supporting me it's not just about um having subscribers no that's not the goal the goal is for us to learn from one another and also for me and uh, for, for me to share our experiences of what goes on in our farm in our poultry business and i'm grateful to you guys and i know you guys will continue to support me thank you so much for always being there for me please subscribe and see you all